and they'll deliver it right away. That's 888-467-4200. You can smile straight in the world's face this time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to the PM Show Weekend Edition with Nancy and Larry Minetti, the theme from The Descendants. I love that movie. And great movie. Projects love the that movie. the great Robert Forrester has starred in. And Larry, we have, I believe, him, you know, Robert as a guest on the show. Do Robert, we, Tomas, are you with us? Tomas, do we have him ready to go? Robert? Let's see if he's there. Robert Forrester, come in, please. I'm right here. Hello, Robert. Hello, Robert. Hey, Nan. So Hi, are you, Larry? honey. Finally, we got you on the air. Oh, what a lucky guy I am. <laughs> yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. What a lucky guy I am. Well, now, have you already told people the story of how you uh, leaped the fence at Warner Brothers and uh, got <laughs> grabbed by the cops? And, no, uh, no, no. Tell that story. we got to hear that no. one. Uh, no. You can tell it if you Come want. Come on. we can got to hear it. Can I tell it? All right. Go ahead. Here, because I was a big fan of Roberts, and when I got to Hollywood, the first place that I went to was Warner Brothers, and I went there with my boyhood friend, John Valentino, who's six foot five. And we went there, and he got me over the fence. He went over the fence. And the first thing that we got to see, they were shooting Banyan. And we were standing there. Next thing I know, some AD started rousting us. Banyan was the the name of the show was Banyan? That was Banyan, and Robert was the star star. of it. I remember that, yes. And they had security come over, and he looked up. He was doing, I don't think he really remembers, but he was looking at his script, and he said, what's going on? He said, some kids jumped in. The, to watch the show, he says, "Well, let him alone." He walked over and said hello, and that was a big thing for me, and I never forgot it. Really? Yeah. And then he had you thrown out, right, Robert? <laughs> no. And no. then Larry, and then Larry got me on Magnum, a two-part uh, show. I was thrilled. Yeah, but we were lucky to get you. I mean, that was a you did us a favor, but he was you were fantastic in that. We did a two-hour movie. I think we went back to um, where did we go back? We went back to the to Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was a, it was a great episode, and if I remember, there was a there was a uh, a big storm which knocked down our set and kept me there for about an extra ten days. Now, look to an actor, uh, everybody who's listening probably knows this already, but to an actor, ten days of work without working is one of those godsends. They pay you. You're sitting there, and uh, what a thrill! <laughs> yeah, especially in Honolulu, Hawaii. Especially in Honolulu. Yeah, I, I, not so much like that poor uh, job you're doing now, where you're stuck working in Alcatraz well, seven uh, days a week. You know, uh, in fact, uh, I don't have a lot to do on Alcatraz, but uh, every once in a while, of course, we're shooting. We're, we finished shooting now, but every once in a while, I would uh, fly up to Vancouver and do a day or two of, of work and come back to L.A. It was a perfect. Come on, job. Robert, you're the uncle. There's more to it than you're not letting on. Come on, you tried to get the. Was it your brother out of the, the Hooskow there? Oh, Alcatraz. They're, they're, you know a lot about it. You were in there when those 63 people, those people <laughs> disappeared in the 63 years. Oh, uh, you've been paying attention. I've been watching you. Been you been I trust attention. you, Robert. We Forrester. still don't know if those guys made it. Do you think those guys made it, Robert? Uh, well, you mean the actual guys some years ago? Uh, the guy, yeah, the guy. Clint Eastwood made a movie about it. Yeah, you know, uh, listen, I saw Alcatraz. I went up to San Francisco. Uh, I did Bob Conrad's show. You, uh, we all know Bob. And oh, sure. I went up to and did that show, uh, you know, some years ago. And as part of it, I uh, went over to Alcatraz and I looked around and I read the the material and saw how some guys tried to escape with a raft and uh, swim it. And I can't remember what all, but. We have no evidence that they survive, so I'm in no position to know, but uh, it's a pretty oh, rough I'm goal. talking about the TV show, Larry. I mean, come on. Well, I his, know that, but his, I, I his thought maybe he could have, be dead. I, mean, I saw thought he had an insight. Well, I mean, the last episode, Robert, what happened? Is she alive or dead? Oh, she's going to be alive. We, we can't kill her. She's too pretty, and oh, she is too tough. Huh. She's, uh, she's a great uh, 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 cop hero. You know, it's a... Yeah. Not, not a CSI kind of cop, but, uh, you know, adventure cop. I forget her name. What's her name again? Uh, Sarah Jones. Yeah, Sarah Jones is an all-star Sarah cast. Sarah Jones, yeah. Now, do you film that in Vancouver, you mentioned? Say again, Nance. You, you film that in Vancouver? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Really? Yes. Uh, they built a, an entire stage full of uh, the inside of Alcatraz, what it looked like wow. when you walked through there. Whenever you took the tour. About a year ago. Well, it looks like that on yeah. a sound stage in Vancouver. And they've built uh, oh, all kinds of stuff up there. So I hope we get a pickup. Yeah, you know what that's about, Larry. Do. Except you, Larry, you have had 
only the kind of show where you just get picked up and picked up and picked up. Those are great. Yeah, well, I, I wish the same for you. Thank you. you I'm, know. I'm looking forward to it myself. Robert, you are very dear to our hearts, and you've been to our home many times. And yep. I want the world to know I how was we telling, feel about you. We I was you. telling Mike Horn and the world how I think of you every day because of my letter openers. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I love them. Oh, thank you. You know how many? I may have given out 5,000 wow. of those over the years. I started giving them out about 20 years ago. They're fabulous. It's not much, as you know, but it really works good, and it feels nice in your hand, and it's pretty. It's terrific. And people, uh, every day or two, I run into somebody who says, you know, you gave me a letter opener a while ago, and I'm still using it. See? What are you talking? Larry and I are looking at each other like, what the heck is he talking about? What you, know, is, you cannot. You a letter you opener. You cannot I tread. appreciate it. You can't tread on anything that there's one iota of naughty in it because Michael Horn right away picks up. What's the wrong bad with the part. letter opener? It's the way it feels in your hand. Oh, and see everything. what I so said? I'm sorry, I didn't mean yes, it. Yes, I, I got it. Uh, Michael, right. uh, you're Thank a you. reprobate. Yeah, and, uh, Thank and, you very much, Robert. Welcome to the club. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Um, also, so, I got something for you. What's Larry that? and Nancy and yeah. Michael, I have never been a, a comic actor, I've always been a straight actor. But about two months ago, I did uh, Tim Allen's show. Oh, Last Man Standing. That's yeah. right. Wow. And I played his father uh, again about a week ago, and it'll be on the air next week, a week from tonight. Oh, so, wow. Oh, great. First time in my career, I've gotten a comedy role. I'm hoping to change my whole career this now. This is great, Robert. I've never done a, 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 a sitcom, but they're great. And oh, Robert, fabulous. Just so to, you're hooked. Yeah. Well, I'm hooked is right. Just to tell you, there's an announcement. I don't know if you saw the trades or not, but today it was announced from CRN that you're going to be a semi-regular here on the PM show with Nancy and Larry Minetti. <laughs> <laughs> you, Very good. I got another job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> got another job. You're be working right. Alcatraz, Last Man Standing, and now the Minetti. A hey, triple threat. <laughs> that, um, to do a three-camera show, I hear, is just the cat's pajamas. I mean, that's yeah. really... Gee, I never had such a, you know, usually first days of work, Larry, you will be able to say yes to this, are sometimes 15, 16, 17 hours long. Oh. The first day of work on the uh, on the sitcom was about four. <laughs> and the wow. second day was maybe four or five. It was, what a soft schedule. So uh, was, you know, there, was there a live audience? or? And then at the end of the week, at the end of five days, uh, we start on a Tuesday. We do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then... Uh, the weekend is, uh, you know, for, for learning the new jokes, because they keep throwing new jokes at you. And then on Monday, we start uh, uh, um, setting up cameras and uh, rehearsing it and shooting them just as a practice. And the following day, Tuesday, at around 6 o'clock, uh, the audience comes in, and we do the show in front of an audience. It is just like, you know, theater. It's like a theater. Like yeah, a theater. like setting up for a play. Yep, and it's much fun. It is, couldn't oh. be more fun than, uh, and so, uh, as I say, I'd love to change my career. Well, this is good stuff. Can you, can you hang in with us, Robert? Of course. All right. Because I got to ask him about that. That's, I think, for actors of uh, the Robert Forster ilk and those, uh, you know, kind of the iconic actors, I think the uh, doing the sitcom is a little different, and I'll tell you why when we come back, and maybe okay. Robert will chime in on yeah. it. And yeah. I may as your neighbors. Uh, I'm holding my breath. You, <laughs> Talk to you in a minute, Robert. Thank you, Larry. Great Robert Forrester is with us here. It's the PM Show. Don't forget you can email Larry, L Manetti, L-M-A-N-E-T-T-I, at crni.net, L Manetti at crni.net. And I was watching the old Jack Benny show, and Don Wilson, just before the break, when uh, Jack's doing the skit and everything, I say, Nancy and Larry will be back in a moment, folks. But first... 